Simon here of designcourse.com. Today I'm going to be doing a review for the 9th designcourse.com design challenge and that's based around designing a specific screen of a mobile messaging app. All right, so we got a decent amount of entries. It's going to be somewhat of a lengthy review, but yeah, just go ahead and if you're one of the people who re I received a review, go ahead and just, uh, you can fast forward. Although I would suggest and recommend if you're trying to become a better designer, try to watch all of my critiques just so you can see um, what I am suggesting based on different scenarios. All right, so yeah, check out designcourse.com, especially designcourse.com slash premium and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, usually before I would record the review for these design challenges, I would uh, check out the thread and just kind of get an idea of what was submitted. This time I, I made it a point not to really look at the entries until I go to actually review them right now. Um, I don't know why I just <laughs> decided to do this, but I, I decided to do it um, just to keep things maybe a little bit unique or different, put myself on the spot maybe in terms of critiquing. All right, so I, uh, so yeah, about a week ago we launched this one. This was uh, a <sighs> uh, back and forth dialogue chat occurring between two people on a mobile uh, interface, basically, a design. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to here. And so Claudia, or uh, I'll just call you Gabriel. Um, first entry, uh, not too bad, actually. Uh, let me see if there's, okay, yeah, so this is a bigger version right here. Uh, yeah, in terms of design and being able to uh, read it and understand what's going on, it works well. I uh, I would say in terms of alignment and uh, like for, for example the avatar here it's a little bit bigger than the chat box that's a small discrepancy but ideally they would be the same size uh, or if one's going to be bigger than the other it should be a tad bit or a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller preferably probably a little bit but a little bit more smaller uh, just because you can tell here it's not as quite as high. Uh, too much height on the actual message. Um, in terms of the other alignment, uh, I would say it would probably be best when you have uh, text that is left aligned, like this is this text right here is left aligned in this container right here. Well, this should be, all this information right here should be left aligned just underneath where it says hello. And that way things will kind of flow better because you know you have something's left aligned and you have something that's centered and it's kind of just it throws you off a little bit. So I would left align these and maybe and align these better because you have this chat icon or this time icon here and then uh, today is kind of pushed over here. I would move that up a little bit so it's centered vertically with this icon. And I would also probably work on the check mark a little bit more. Um, it seems a little bit too big in my opinion. So uh, yeah, aside from that, everything else, you know, contrast, colors, everything here is pretty good. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, this one is just absolutely awesome. Amazing. No, I'm just kidding. This is an entry for myself. I'm not going to critique it, of course. Uh, let's see. Oliver. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, let me copy the image. And I'm going to pause. I didn't load up Photoshop yet. So the one second. All right. So this is uh, the, the layout and everything here is pretty similar to the previous entry. Uh, but in terms of design, what I was talking about before with the alignment here being to the left, uh, beginning with this, this is what I'm talking about. It flows better this way. But uh, in terms of transparency, though, uh, readability, this today part should probably stand out just a little bit more. It's a little bit, uh, there's not enough contrast with the background. Um, the avatars, I would say, almost feel a little bit too big. I, you'd definitely be able to tell who it is if you scaled it down more. And then what that does is allow you, it frees you up more room uh, to put in more content, essentially, which is important, or ideal at least. Uh, so looking at the rest of this, I, I like the, the subtle gray background with the white overlay and you're differentiating between the messages, so that's good. Um, let's see here. I would say just a minor critique, you know, this thing here you have all this white space on this side but now it's only like cut in half here so it just kind of slightly throws you off but that's a tiny, tiny minor thing uh, but yeah 
uh, pretty good. So I would just say this, uh, just a couple things about the contrast and then the size of the avatars. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue here. All right, so this is DL2904, um, far, 04. And let's see what we have. Okay, let me uh, pick out one here, just so I could possibly see it bigger. All right, good. All right, so I'll just focus on this one. God, this looks like basically these are the same type of entries uh, for the, just different color schemes. All right, so I'm not too much a fan of the font. The font just seems too, uh, I'd say almost like Matrix-like. Uh, so I would change the font probably. I would also change, so you can see the, the type, you could definitely see it down here because the background, there's a lot of contrast. It's darker background, white text. But up here, it's way too light. So you have a readability issue on up there. So you can still have you know some type of subtle gradient like you have it, but you want to make sure you start maybe with this color up here and then go darker down here. Uh, so that's another thing I would say. Um, another thing, I would definitely get rid of this thick uh, line right here, this divider. Don't really need it. Uh, so what it essentially does is just kind of clutter up the, uh, the interface a bit. So I would remove this and I uh, actually I could do it like this. I would just remove all those lines and that way it frees things up more, it creates for less clutter, more simplicity. I, I'm not too sure about this. Uh, it looks like a logo that's kind of watermarked into the background. Clutters things up too much, so I would also remove that. People don't care about the logo or anything like that, so I would remove that for sure. And then uh, for the size of this data right here, the today, it's a little bit small. Probably would also left align it over here. And yeah, I'd also look into possibly using um, circles instead of squares for the uh, avatars as well. But yeah, not too bad other than that. So let me switch back here. Oops, wrong window. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, so Oliver, like he mentioned, uh, this is a second entry. Yeah, I don't. Looks like he definitely changed the size, maybe of no, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, no, uh, but yeah, same thing. It looks like a different type of color scheme. So I just want to be certain about that. Yeah, it looks like it. I uh, I think I do like this better than the other one. I can't really immediately contrast them, but all right. So Bakbami, let's see here. Um, let me copy this. All right, so let's see. I kind of like how it's different. Definitely different in terms of being, you know, this dark monochromatic type of color scheme. I like the uh, uh, the icons here. Uh, let's see here. I would say the uh, this is just a tad bit too small. Uh, if you're reviewing that on a phone, it would be probably really hard to read. Uh, but in terms of the avatar, I like that. A big thick white stroke. There's nothing really too wrong with that, in my opinion. Kind of works well with the color scheme as well. Um, okay, so you're right aligning this portion. Uh, you could definitely read this text. I'm not too sure, certain how effective these would be on a mobile environment. The edit, delete, and copy being close together. Uh, you know, maybe what you could do instead was just put like a cog or something on there somewhere or right align it over here and push the text over a little bit. I'm not sure, but just some ideas. But it does kind of clutter it up a little bit because um, if you already did this real quick, we could see uh, it would free up some more space a little bit. But yeah, uh, other than that, let's see here. I do like it. So yeah. Just a couple things in terms of being able to make it more simple and bringing up the font size on a couple things. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Yep, I like it. So let's go over here. All right, so Minifig Steve. All right, got some issues here. So, all right, so first thing, I would say that the background is just along with the this teal sort of uh, or turquoise color 
uh, just too too much brightness, um, too much just too much of too much happening, I guess you could say. Um, so I would probably, if you're gonna have like an image background, I would try to overlay it on a darker background and take the opacity down a lot. That's a big trend right now in web design. Um, but standing with so much contrast, and then on top of this real bright uh, turquoise color is just uh, there's too much color going on. It's kind of too hard to follow. Uh, the avatar as well, for some reason, they look like a, an oval. It's like squished a little bit and pixelated a little bit as well. So try to work so that you don't have this pixelation occurring like right there. As you can see, it's blurry. Uh, so look into vector for those sorts of things. Uh, other than that, this this the uh, the time it was sent information, a white on this light background there's not enough contrast there's not enough white space beneath it and this container so you need to push it down and left align it a little bit over here I'd probably say like right around there if you wanted to make it stand out much more with the background uh, the, uh, the the font size is too big I would say uh, for this portion for inside uh, and I would also you know you have space over here you might as well use it I would increase this size as well because you look, I mean, you start with your uh, white space over here, but you're ending with all this over here, so it's, un it's unnecessary. So I would just bring that over, bring down the font size. Uh, but yeah, just do those few things. I would get rid of the, the uh, gradients too much here. Gradients are fine, but when people start introducing uh, bright different colors into it, it becomes just a little bit too hectic. And I would work on this as well. It's like kind of just off centered and doesn't really look too good. Uh, but yeah, just try to work on simpli simpli ah, simplicity. You know, if you're a new designer, work on trying to get your alignment, your white space, etc. Maybe even join Design Cores Premium. <laughs> uh, fuck. Sorry about that. I had a recording issue. So I'm going to move on here. Uh, yeah, this is better. The uh, background definitely creates for more contrast so that you can actually see what's going on with this time. Uh, but my other comments still apply to this, though. All right, MXV design. All right, so, okay, let's see here. Yeah, we could st still see this pretty decently. Uh, it's a little bit confusing with the outline of the phone being the same as the color of the background. I would probably make this maybe even white uh, just so we can see it but not a big deal let's focus on the design uh, just looking at this uh, let's see here I like these icons uh, I think maybe denoting if they were red or not or or if they were sent that's an interesting idea in terms of uh, use, uh, user experience uh, yeah I actually kind of like this I kind of want to see it bigger though so let me All right, so one thing, you know, I would probably either get rid of these dashes right here because they kind of just end right there or extend them all the way. And also it becomes kind of an issue when you look right here. You kind of just have this gray on the pink and it kind of clashes. So I would either get rid of those entirely or just uh, extend it all the way at least. But uh, that's a minor gripe. I actually like the size of the avatar. I like the time. It's very. It stands out. It's a noticeable size. Uh, I would maybe even take it down a notch in terms of uh, maybe make it a little bit lighter so that the focus is over here on the actual text. Uh, otherwise, it creates a little bit of a clutter issue, but not too much at all. Um, but yeah, I like this as well. You can tell. You know, this is their avatar. You can attach files here, and you can type your message. Uh, so yeah, I like this overall. Good entry. All right, so let's go down here. Rizwana vid. Hello, is my entry? Okay. Copy. Oops. Copy and. All right. So let's see here. Okay, pretty simplistic design. Um, looking at this though, let's see here. Okay, so this must be your avatar. Um, I'm not too sure if I like how it kind of just splits with your avatar right there. Uh, one thing you could do is add um, like a like this color blue, 
a stroke, uh, maybe like a four or five pixel stroke around it. That way, you know, the avatar photograph isn't just contrasting with this color right here. Not too big of a deal. Uh, right here though, this looks like it was just kind of quickly created and it's like skewed a little bit. That's just kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, let's see what else. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this isn't too bad. It, it, is, it does throw me off a little bit that this has a container um, and the theirs does not. Um, but I, I'm not going to say that's too, too bad. I think there is an issue with uh, the alignment, though, and, and the white space. You know, this one, this text over here starts this far from the border, and this one's like this, and it kind of just makes it flow, make the flow, it makes the flow kind of just seem wrong. I think pushing this over here to the right just a little bit um, would help if I get this color. I think this is a black. Uh, that way it looks, it, this looks better in my opinion, just moving it over, giving it a little room away from the side of the phone. Uh, but other than that, this is simple. That looks like it's simple. That send button. Yeah, I mean, in terms of simplicity and contrast, uh, it works out very well, pretty well. So that's not a bad entry. All right, Alexander. All right, so. All right, so let's check this out. Okay, so let's see here. Over here, these icons, you know, there's no reason probably to just put one right here and then one right here. You have enough room. Otherwise, you're kind of vertically creating a little bit of clutter, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, coming down here, let's see. Uh, I'd probably like a little bit more uh, white space between the text and the outer container. And I would also definitely consider, you know, why not just extend it all the way across? Um, that way you can get more text in, uh, in, the vis in the viewable portion. So, yeah, I would add more white space here, increase this size, maybe even uh, pull this away from the edge a little bit as well. So maybe white space about from here to there. And I would also stick with the same type of font. If you're using serif, stick with, stick with serif. If you're using sans serif, stick with sans serif. If you're using serif font for the time and it just kind of clashes with the type, which is serif up here. So I would stick with sans serif right here. Maybe move it down just a tad bit um, and maybe slightly take down the uh, contrast just a little bit. And let's see here. And also this, I, this, this watermark sort of design. I mean, if the user can specify that, like as a options or whatever for the program, okay. But uh, otherwise, I would just take it off completely. Um, like if I, if I were designing an app for a client, I wouldn't include this just because it's too, I guess you could say, you know, this is something that's like, you would only want the user to ever be able to do. And by default, it would be turned off just because uh, some people might not like that sort of thing or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty good design. Contrast is working well. Uh, things are laid out pretty in a, in a pretty easy to read fashion. So yeah, not bad. Let's see here. All right, so, okay, we got another one. Okay, I think this is just the same one without being perspective. All right, another one from Oliver. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll take a look at this one right here. I like the fact that it's a little bit different. Um, hmm. Yeah, I would probably scale down the size of the avatars just a little bit. Maybe increase the size of the font and also allow it, give it some, you know, you know for this one, well, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it would have been nice if you included like a longer sort of text. Maybe they hit enter on here. But I, if it was like a longer sentence or a paragraph, it should be coming out to around here, like this width. But I maybe didn't intend for that. Um, I'm not sure if I really like the, the, the date area right to the right. Kind of throws things off. Like if you took that away immediately, it would be fine. But, um, hmm, hmm. 
Yeah, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe I would, um, if you're going to leave it there, um, grab this hue, make it slightly lighter. I mean, still, still so that you can read it. Uh, and then also make this white as well. So that way, this isn't competing, these two things. Uh, but yeah, overall, not bad. All right, so Juanjo, I have no clue. When <laughs> I should not try to pronounce these things. All right, I'll go here to Photoshop. All right, so let's see here. What do we have? All right, so if you're going to use a photograph watermark like this, I like that it's blurred. Um, I would probably even just decrease the scale or, or the contrast a little bit or take the opacity down. That way there's uh, it doesn't clash with like the date and all of this and, and the, the white containers. Uh, so I would just probably just take those and scale that down that opacity. Uh, in terms of everything else, I think I like it. In terms of uh, this being right aligned versus these being left aligned, I'd probably just take these and I'd take these ones right here and left align those under here. That way there's not a lot of clutter going in between each of these. Uh, cool that you added a photo here just for a preview. Other than that, I like it. So it's pretty good. Yeah, just a, a couple adjustments and I think it would be pretty solid. Alright, switch back. Alright, Kitso78. Alright, looking at this... I would say not too bad. I would probably, yeah, definitely scale down the size of the John or the name if that's even needed. Um, it's probably, well, it's probably not needed. You know, what, what you would normally do is you already have the name up here. So you know who you're talking to because this is per a permanent fixture. Uh, and then you have their avatar. So I would get rid of the, the you and the John thing because you already know what you look like unless you're on a lot of drugs or something and you don't know who you are. But I don't know. But yeah, I would get rid of the uh, the names. And other than that, I, there's good, there's pretty good contrast here. I'm not so sure, certain about this bright green against this light gray. I'll maybe experiment with this green color a little bit. Maybe use this color up here and that way there's a little bit more contrast. Uh, other than that, though, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, this seems fine. Maybe just a little bit more white space and thickness between the container and the text. But, yeah, other than that, it's simple. There's decent contrast. Pretty good. All right, so we have another one from him, a slight change. And he just added, like, the dates and stuff, which is fine. But my comment still, I think I still think it would be pretty solid, a little bit more solid. You got rid of the John U, John U thing. And then also, uh, this one, I almost like, well, yeah. I would scale the, the today part maybe down just a tad bit, but now nah, that's not too too much of a gripe. Yale, Ibex. All right, so let's see here. Whew, we got some interesting things happening with this. <laughs> All right. So I would probably, definitely say, not probably, um... Let's see here. Yeah, this thing right here, this design, I know trying to be artistic or something, but there doesn't really serve much function or much purpose to have this in there. So I would right away just get rid of that. Um, in terms of like, you know, modern design trends and, and simplicity and minimalism, that it doesn't really help uh, the, the purpose of the design at all. Like it has no purpose really. Uh, so I would get rid of that. I would also uh, definitely add more white space between this text and the containing element. Uh, and I would get rid of this line because that's creating some more clutter. You don't need that. And the today bit, I you could possibly get away with putting that in there. Um, if we got rid of this, moved it up, got rid of the right line, the white line, and this stuff as well. So I would just say it's a little bit too much happening for this to be, you know, an effective modern sort of design. So you can just keep on following along as I go through these, uh, just to get an idea of what you know looks pretty effective and what doesn't so all right let's continue on we got a lot of submissions here this is taking a long time man wow all right so Emil submitted this one and you know what uh, this is pretty good 
thinking the, the the size of the avatar is slightly too big. I'm saying that like to everybody for some reason. Maybe it's just me. But no, I think it probably get away with scaling it down a little bit more. Um, I like this stuff in here. The text that is. Uh, image preview. Um, this is, I think the time is maybe just a little bit too small, but uh, not too bad. And yeah, those are my only gripes that I would have to say uh, for this design. Otherwise, it's a solid entry. All right, so Rizwana vid. All right, so, okay. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so the, 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 all right, this time they got the icon or the avatar a pretty decent size. I, uh, I would say that the, the type though is a little bit too big. I would just scale that down just a tad bit. And then when it comes to the separators, I'd almost like to see those go all the way across if possible or extend all the way to the left. Um, but these are just minor grapes here. And I think if you integrated those couple changes, it would probably be a pretty ideal design for what you're going for. So pretty good entry. All right, Swaz, Java, or Javed, or whatever. Um, let's see here. All right, we'll take a look at these ones. All right, so the background, it's its fine to have like a very subtle type of background like this, although the uh, the the, horse, the strokes around this area and then the vertical lines going between these kind of makes it a little bit confusing and hard to follow. So I would get rid of the vertical lines uh, over here and here, and that will minimize the clutter uh, and be able to focus on, you know, these you know, what's being said a little bit more I would also consider adding more white space between the text and the containing element here because everything's squashed in there in this way you want to try to really get some uh, room to breathe essentially which is a tenet of uh, modern design uh, other than that it's not too bad uh, I think if you just made a few adjustments maybe slightly increase the font size a little bit uh, open things up it would become pretty effective alright so Ilja alright so let's see here okay let me copy this see if it's bigger yeah okay alright so uh, yeah the fact that there's no text in here it's a little bit well, I wish there was text, but I uh, just to illustrate the de the general design, the colors, and the layout. This is effective, uh, in my opinion. So I like it. Nice flat design, nice flat icons outlined. I uh, that I there's not really too much that I can gripe about this. I actually like this. So good entry, I would say. Good stuff. All right, Oliver. Let's see here. I just wanted to see if there was any more. Okay, we'll focus on this one. Uh, yeah, maybe scale down the font, or the size of the uh, avatar just a little bit. Uh, the this light, this green with this type of uh, gray, I would probably work on trying to make one stand out more so than the other because right now, like they're on the same. Uh, in terms of brightness, they're the same. I would, I guess you could say the same uh, sort of wavelength, I guess you could say. And so it's, it kind of creates for a little bit of contrast issue. Uh, you don't see much contrast be between them. Uh, I would increase the size of the time right here and the icon a little bit. And maybe even this text. Maybe just by a tad bit, though. Uh, other than that, though, while well, not really certain what's happening right here, though, <laughs> seems like uh, you went a little bit overboard on the um, the dots so it's a little bit confusing on exactly what's happening here or what that's supposed to mean maybe just stick to like three or four um, but yeah I mean other than this I mean look at it it looks like you know the layout wise your uh, white space uh, things have room to breathe you have good uh, 
uh, white space between the text and the containing element. So yeah, this just a couple changes and it would become a lot more solid in my opinion. And then Ibrahim or something like that, I guess you could say. Well, let's see here. Uh, it's definitely an interesting color scheme. What One thing that's good about it is uh, you definitely, the contrast works well. And the colors actually do fit together pretty good. Uh, the size and the location of the date, uh, it's too crammed up against the containing element. It's too small as well. So I would try to give it a little bit more room away. Maybe move this over. Uh, I mean, scale up the size of the font. Uh, in terms of the text, it doesn't seem too bad. It's a little bit difficult to read at this angle with a perspective, but that's not too bad. Uh, not too much of a big deal. So yeah, um, over here and here. Yeah, pretty solid. I would say this, maybe just make this white. It kind of clashes with this yellow right here. So this, I would make white. Uh, but yeah, I would say aside from that, just those couple things, it would become pretty solid in my opinion. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh my God, we got a lot more. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to start like splitting these up into multiple days. All right, so over here, uh, from Tobias. Uh, things seemed a little bit too crammed in my opinion. Maybe the font size is a little bit too small. Uh, the size of the face here, let's see. All right, now we're at 100%. Uh, let's say, yeah. In terms of it being minimal, I would, I would, if you really want it to be minimal, as you stated, minimal glass style, uh, I would get rid of this vertical line because you don't need that. Um, I would probably get rid of or extend this further to the right and this further to the left. Uh, the size that needs price scaled up just a little bit for the, I mean, for the time. Um, yeah, but aside from that, not too bad. Probably like to see a little bit more white space between the text and this containing element and the avatar, just to give you know a little bit more space and a little bit more room for things to breathe. So not too bad. Other than that, just again, these are all small changes. A lot of these uh, could could have to make a big difference. No slin. All right, so let's check this out. All right, so this one does it well in terms of having room to breathe. The elements are spaced out well, which if you can see here, uh, this really illustrates you know, how easy it is to decipher who's saying what and to be able to read things. One thing that I'm not too much of a fan of is the background. It seems like it could be, it needs to be a little bit darker for my liking for the background. Just a tad bit though, not too much. Uh, I think like with the this blue and this fourth right here, uh, it there's not enough contrast. So I would just try to make it a little bit darker and that way the messages stick out. Other than that, I like it. So good entry. All right, so I can't read this at the moment. Uh, I can, I'm just gonna browse through this real quick. But yeah. All right, so we have some issues here. Oh, we got an animated GIF. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I worked on this. Wow. Well, right off the bat, I could tell you that there's some things that could definitely be changed. Uh, it almost reminds me of like old school, like IRC, I think, in a way. Uh, the I uh, let me see if I can print screen that all right so that way I can focus just on this, this screen here I uh, so the outlines like the block outlines the square the rectangular outlines I say they, those could go that's kind of like an older style of design you could just get rid of those completely because we already know who's saying what you have the avatar and you have the text right next to it that's all you need so you don't need this containing element 
Uh, like I said, that's more like in the early 2000s, late 90s type of design style. And I know that because I was designing back then. So, so uh, yeah, you could get rid of this. It'll free you up more space as well because, you know, when you create a, uh, like a container like this, that means you have to push things inside of it and then you room, you lose space for uh, these for content essentially. So, uh, yeah, get rid of that and it'll become less liney and it'll also become more simplistic. Simplistic. Uh, also the, uh, the alignment of this, I'm not too much of a fan of it. It looks like it works like when there's, it, it works right when it's just one line like this and it's centered in here. But then when you have multiple, it just feels like it's just pushed down and not aligned correctly with the avatar. So I would push this up to the top of where, where the avatar begins. And I, uh, let's see what, let me go back here real quick. Wow, <laughs> I like this view. This is putting a lot of work into this. I appreciate that. Uh, let me see here. So here's a, a better view of it. Yeah, in terms of like really being able to fit in a lot of stuff, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and like I said, it reminds me of IRC because IRC is uh, formatted like this. So yeah, it's definitely kind of like a niche sort of maybe chat app. Uh, not for everybody, but uh, as you can see, you can fit a lot in there. But it seems like it might be almost a little bit too small for most people, the font size. Uh, but yeah, I like the idea of it, and it's definitely one of the most unique entries. So I don't have too much to say, too much negative to say about that. I uh, and then this one is I'm just reading this up here. Yeah, it's cool to uh, design like a um, the slide out nav. Uh, but yeah, I like the idea of uh, illustrating this, and it seems like it's pretty effective in how you would do that. Rutger. All right. So okay, so you know it's okay to have maybe like a, this interesting sort of uh, drop shadow here. But when you have it on these elements too, it becomes too much. Like it becomes a little bit too much cluttered. So I would probably I would personally take these I I would get rid of this stroke right here. You can see there's like a two or three pixel stroke of this color, it looks like. I would get rid of that. And you could still leave this this sort of drop shadow on it. And I only say that because it's a strong drop shadow. It's not like a soft edge because usually soft edges, it's just, that's way too old school, but this could work. Uh, and I would also get rid of it. I would get rid of the drop shadow though on this. You don't need, you wouldn't need on this because this is just starting to clutter things up a, a bit too much, becoming too much. Other than that, uh, it would work maybe with this background. You know, this is one of those things that's popular right now, but I would say, you know, it, it seems like there's, too much color in it and so it's creating contrast issue especially with this color and this font color so it's creating a contrast issue I would work on trying to possibly desaturate it or try to get it into one type of color um, using luminosity uh, and then maybe either lightening it or brightening it so it doesn't create a contrast issue with this text other than that I, I would probably ex extend this all the way um, and not make it so it's its own container, if you know what I mean. That way you free up more space. But yeah, uh, other than that, not too bad. All right, so Emil Pets Franson. All right, so let's see here. All right, so one issue is, is you lose a lot of space, a vertical space, screen real estate, when you have a big uh, avatar image like this up here. So I would left align this I would scale down the avatar size I would put the name to the right of it and that way you have you've moved this up to probably around here and that way you have more space to be able to actually read text so that's important in terms of usability um, and then maybe increase the font size and um, I you know here is the picture you wanted you could probably if you extended this all the way we could see the whole thing you know uh, and that's important as well for trying to get as much as in, in as you can while also not being, you know, too cluttered in a sense. 
Uh, although maybe not all the way, because I understand if you do do it all the way, uh, it might become hard to see you know who's saying what. So maybe just extend a little bit out further. Uh, maybe not all the way. But yeah, other than that, just increase the font size, I would say. Move this up here, and it becomes a little bit more effective. All right, and that is it. Oh, I have to fix that. It says we're not on page two, but we are. Uh, but yeah, so that was really long, and hopefully I didn't just screw up the audio. There. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, overall good uh, entries here. I uh, oh wait did somebody else oh I'm, I have to delete that thread uh, but yeah I I like what people have been doing uh, this person just kind of resubmitted one I uh, but yeah I've been going I you know design course premium has been launched for a few weeks now and the premium of course let me log out I uh, is the premium subscription service that uh, I've launched that has a couple different products. The main one being one-on-one -on -one design training with me. So these de these weekly design course design challenges I'm doing uh, where I spend maybe like a minute on each one. Well, I'm spending a lot more time individually with uh, you guys uh, in order to make you better designers. And uh, so definitely consider that, you know, if I really... If I, if I critique your design and you're still feeling not confident about, you know, not being able to make good design, try, please consider joining the Design Course Premium. It's something that you could just stay one month if you wanted to, and you can uh, quit any time. And just in that one month, if you enter these uh, design submissions, uh, these projects, it could really, really help your ability to design as it has helped some other people already. All right, I'm Gary Simon, designcourse.com. I'm in, uh, considering a tutorial that I'm going to be working on pretty hard, so expect that soon as well. All right, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>